Today I'm going to tell you guys basically things that I wish I knew before I started my fitness journey, things that would tremendously have helped me prior to starting my fitness journey. So my biggest top tip would be to just be patient with yourself. I remember in the beginning of my fitness journey, I was so eager for results. I need to see results right now. I was putting in hours at a time. It was honestly really brutal. And back in retrospect, I can see that that was very, very almost harmful for my body. And what I was doing was a lot more harmful than helpful in seeing uh, progress on results. So I definitely wish that I just went a little bit more slowly with my fitness journey. I wish that I focused more on quality rather than quantity. I always thought, oh, the more I'll do, the more results I'll get, the quicker the results, but no, slow it down. It's called a journey for a reason, um, and it's a marathon, not a sprint. So just take your time, apply, apply the workout split, um, stay consistent with your diet, and it will all fall into place. It's just gonna take time, and I guess that's the most frustrating aspect of having a fitness journey is just it's take it takes a lot of time and you really just need to be patient to see your results and we all want that you know the instant gratification of right now putting in all this work i want to see results today right now but you need to just slow it down and just take it day by day and just know what you're doing is reaching you more towards your goal like i said before focus on quality rather than quantity just make sure you're doing the right amount of reps, applying progressive overload. You don't need to be doing hours of cardio. You do not need to be doing um, every single muscle group in one day to see results. Just make sure that you are applying progressive overload, sticking to a workout split, following uh, your macros. I'd say another big top tip would be to just enjoy everything in moderation. You don't need to be overly strict with yourself. You can have everything. There's no, nothing really necessarily as like a good food or a bad food. There is no food that's going to just make you lose weight and there's no food that's just gonna automatically make you gain weight. Everything in moderation is so key. And the only way to really lose weight is not through a one specific food. It's an overall calorie deficit, which means you have to be burning more calories than you're consuming throughout the day. So I believe that everything in moderation is okay. Just make sure that you're not being overly strict with yourself and just be flexible so that you can just like enjoy life and just live a little. You want to make sure you're also following your macros, which is your protein, your carbs, and your fat. Making sure you're getting an adequate amount of protein is so crucial for muscle gains recovery. I know I sound like a broken record when I say that, but the brain actually does learn through repetition. The last thing I wish I would knew was what progress aggressive overload was and how to apply it properly. So I guess in the beginning, I had no idea what progressive overload was. I was doing the same thing day in and day out. And it kind of follows along with the quote, nothing changes if nothing changes. I was not changing anything with my routine. It was so regimented. It was so every single day, I never changed it. So obviously I never saw any type of result or any type of difference in uh, my physique because I was not training differently. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that these tips help. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my Instagram, Sally.PadillaFitness and my TikTok, Sally.Padilla. See you guys.